dungeon has been raided, the monsters have been slain, and the treasure is all yours. That can only mean one thing. It's time for the after party at the Red Dragon Inn, the long-running, rambunctious card game from Slugfest Games that dares to ask the question, how will your adventuring party celebrate after a quest well done? Choose a character, then drink, gamble, and roughhouse the night away as you attempt to be the last one standing in the rowdiest bar. This side of the adventure is night. Club, the last one awake and still with coins in their pocket wins, so be sure to keep an eye on your money, your fortitude, and those delicious flagons of ale. And don't forget to tip your servers, you filthy animals. Head on over to slugfestgames.com slash RDI to learn more and snag your seat at the Red Dragon Inn today. Hello everybody and welcome back to our Revisiting the Call of Duty franchise stream series. My name is Nick Lander, the Editor-in-Chief of Second Wind, joined by Frost. And we are back playing the very original Call of Duty uh, for my first time, actually. I've never actually played this one because I started with Finest Hour on the PS2. Frost, how are you doing today? This was started at all. I'm good, brother. I'm full of coleslaw and chicken tendies. What a Friday. <laughs> I'm ready to go. <clears throat> I have, uh, because I'm doing that uh, workout thing, experiment for the month, I've been eating healthy. You know, good pastrami and cheese sandwich with apple. This guy, look at that. Wholesome. This guy's fiber, too. Yeah. Good for you. Get your fiber in, guys. Like, ooh. Got some grapes. I'm going to make Italian chicken for dinner. Let me finish this. I'm making you redo this part. Oh, no. Oh, his gun's clipping through right now. What's up, everybody? How about you guys? How huh? are you guys keeping up with your fiber? 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 Nine. Thanks for the submarino. Appreciate you. And Andrew was asking earlier if we're uh, going to do one game a piece a stream now we're gonna run through each of them because these campaigns are pretty short yeah and i'm also good so i can finish them quickly uh do let me know if frost is too quiet he's a little quiet for me on my end uh i'll raise him up if i need to it's gonna be a little bit louder yes yeah, because you're shooting a lot yeah know? i'm constantly shooting uh, i may have I, uh, I lowered some volumes yesterday because we were we were screaming a lot on hell or at least i was because i kept getting shot in the moon uh, that, the Bile Titans? Yeah, no, that was, I was screaming. No, when we kept landing on the tanks. Oh, that too, yeah. No. <laughs> blasted off the outside did you, of the Did you end up zone. watching the clip? Because I don't think you realized how far I flew. <laughs> I was dead. I was watching you the whole time. I know, did you watch the, oh, oh, after. Yeah, uh, and you're like, it, fl it threw me outside of the zone. And you're just <laughs> trying, like, begging, Commander, I'm coming. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah, funny. Let's see. Volume seems all right. Andrew's at 85 percent. Hell yeah! I'm glad that. Oh, Andrew Hickenbottom, not complaining about the audio. We must. I got Andrew, it. I got Andrew, it perfect then. Got it perfect. He's also giving you five pound for it to incentivize oh. donation to the brave veterans of the wars. I'm talking about Nick and his battles on Twitter. <laughs> oh, not again. Why don't you find people on Blueski? I'm. I will. I'm not doing another social media platform. Once Twitter goes down, I'm done. <laughs> Yeah, that's how I feel, right? Well, like, once I, this one's I don't want to. Yeah, I don't want to ever invest time into building another social media platform because it'll be nice for a couple of years, and then it'll turn into the same thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, once they sell it off. Like, okay. But no. Oh shit! God. Oh, look at you go, beauty. Also, uh, did you finish Band of Brothers, Nick? I did. Terrace, nice. I did, and uh, the episode with the concentration camp was some TV I'll definitely never forget. It was, I, I think, bet. it was a seriously uh, well done, but also like Jesus Christ kind of TV, you know? <laughs> oh, secular Christian television. Huh. Uh, yeah, interesting sad. detail about that, like the people that they um, got to represent, you know, the. the, the the Jewish prisoners and all that were actually uh, a lot of people going through cancer treatment, so their bodies were mm. disformed yeah. uh, from that. Oh man, yeah, just to go for that extra realism. Yeah, Jeez. didn't know that. That's intense. Let's see what's here. You made it, that, that makes that scene even sadder because they had to find a lot of people to do that. Right? Yeah. There's some. There's some media that like it, it's almost. Interesting to watch that and the behind the scenes stuff behind it. I don't watch every behind the scenes thing, but uh, that, that gets me up there. 
I like hearing about what the real soldiers thought about, like, the people they were with. There you go, you know. It's like, he wasn't that much of a dickhead, but he was a dickhead. There you go, there you go. Y'all should try Truth Social before it dies. Never. Just a little bit. I am curious to see how much people make out of that stock, though, because it, <laughs> it was so overvalued. Oh, is it public? It, yeah, he went public, and it dropped in value like crazy over the first week because it was so overvalued. I can't, I can't remember if it was six or nine billion dollars to social was valued at. Hot. Let me see. Let me see. I just keep getting news about the price, not the actual price. Uh, oh. 46 bucks right now? Nah, that's gonna take. Hey, radio. You watching Dark Side of the Ring? Me too. I, I didn't get that far into it. I got past the, the Macho Man and the. What was the second one? Shoot. I think I just watched the first episode. I like you. I guess the Pacific is next for Nick. Oh, you gotta alternate. You can't watch a war epic after a war epic. You know, you gotta do like uh, a cowboy or something. A little Deadwood, maybe? Yeah, no, I'm watching The Gentleman right now. Oh. The new show from Guy Ritchie. Is that a show? Yep. Yeah, oh, there's, a, there's a movie called The Gentleman, too, but he, now he's done a show called The Gentleman. Oh, I didn't know. That's the one with Cavill, right? Henry Cavill? No. No, that's a movie that's coming up soon. Uh, Too much. Uh, but it's not called The Gentleman. It's like disorderly <laughs> hot dog or something. Yeah, dis disorderly hot dog, man. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Something like that, yeah. What do you got here? Bruiser Brody? I remember Bruiser Brody's, man. I did also, I think we missed a uh, 9 fire resubscribe on tw Twitch at tier 1 for 4 months. At 4 month already, right? 4 month already. We've it's been actually, here for 6 months. It's actually, no, May will be 6 months. You you owe us a sub month. Uh, tomorrow, tomorrow is 5 months officially. True. Where does the time go? You know? I don't know. I keep, that's why I keep looking at the calendar. I'm like, how has it been this long already? Yeah, I just... But that's that's what'll get you through the workout sessions and the diet. Six months will pass and you'll be ripped. That uh, that Fit XR app, that's actually a lot of fun. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, oh, damn. You, I work up. A, that works up a good sweat really quick. Like even on the beginner ones. There you go. Or get maybe it. I'm just really out of shape, but. Yeah, or the, that. Uh, <laughs> the uh, first one I did was like a just a boxing one, but I mean like it, it, it gets you moving. Like I was actually pretty sore the next day. Hell yeah, brother! We're gonna wee boxing, absolutely. It's a little. That, but this this five, like man. tracks your how much uh, force you're actually putting into it, and you get a higher score the more force you're putting in. So, so surely sure the wee uh, was capable make, as well. <laughs> make sure you give yourself room so you don't put a hole, hole in the wall. That'll do you. Yeah, I know. I've tried apps and all the calorie count and stuff, but I'm so I'm so old school with it. I just do the old fashioned way, like a like a Rocky montage, you know. Mm. Let's see. I, yeah, I like. I just have a. I'm not. I'm not terrible about like getting into the habit of things, but. Right. Like, if I'm not like entirely motivated to do it, it's hard to get in a habit. So, at least uh, with the FitXR thing, it like gamifies it a bit. Like, yeah. And it really like kind of keeps makes everything tangible in front of stats and everything. Right. So yeah, no. I've kind of like I've, it kind of clicked with me right away. Or like I don't know, like just just seeing. <laughs> numbers <laughs> does it uh, does it have a battle pass no it doesn't but it is no. a, it is like a yearly subscription oh dear god no but wonder. but it's it's like uh i guess the best thing i can equate it to is like if you were to get like one of those video workout things i don't know what those are like bro i was raised like, on like ibo <laughs> <laughs> Old uh, uh, Gene Simmons. I didn't, I didn't used to have to work out because I just played hockey. Playing yeah, that every yeah. every few days keeps you fit real quick. Yeah, but get your cardio going. And I was so used to uh, following the NPC in current modern game design that I didn't like. I was just trying to keep up with him, and then I realized mm -hmm. he'll keep up with me. Look, he's yeah, gonna start he's running. Nice. Little Billy Blanks. Oh yeah, radio's my spirit animal. I thought he fell off the boat. 
Billy Blank, I know, yeah, Tybo, you guys remember, that's why I'd be out here looking fine in my extra large polo. This might be a medium, I don't know. <laughs> it's hard to find clothes that fit in my size, I'm a medium. Got a huge old torso, these massive arms, but I got that sleeper build. Anyone play hidden and dangerous back in the day? Can't say. No. And, uh, Darwin's dummy. Yes, we are. We are doing. Yes, we are doing a Able Gamers charity stream on the 18th of April. What's Captain Price? Hidden and dangerous. I actually, uh, I covered that game in the Kingdom Come Deliverance documentary. Uh, it's from uh, 1999. Wow. Yeah, the mafia designers worked on that. What the? What? These were Germans the whole time? I should have been paying attention. This is like the opposite of no Russian. <laughs> yes, German. What? <laughs> we infiltrated their ship, and I didn't even know I was infiltrating. Oh my god. I didn't even know I was infiltrating their You're ship. You're the worst spy ever. <laughs> <laughs> Suit spec ops mission, sir. What are we doing here? Uh, yeah. You're on a mission, man. Oh, we are. <laughs> yeah, right. it, what an awful time. Imagine walking through the door, forgetting why you were there, and then forgetting you were undercover. That would be <laughs> yeah. me. <laughs> yeah, my name's Fred. Fred? <laughs> Fred? Mm. <laughs> Who the fuck uh -oh. is Fred? What system was this game on? This is on PC. Finest Hour was the Call of Duty one that came to consoles. I don't think... I don't think no, they did do a, they did do a remaster of the original Call of Duty uh, for consoles at some point. There you go. Uh, John Russell with the two dollars. How does playing a twenty year old FPS compare to a new one? I here's the Graphics. thing. I've never I've never played the original Call of Duty. Like I said at the start of the stream, I started with Finest Hour. I was immediately shocked that the game had iron sights. I was not expecting that. <laughs> you expecting like what third person the whole way? No, I just. Like Medal of Honor, uh, Rising Sun, and all that doesn't have iron sights, mm. as far as I, as far as I remember. I think it's nice returning to roots. Uh, obviously, like we've come a long way, but these still hold up pretty well considering the genre. Like, what? Well, how are you supposed to innovate on this to the point where it's just so far gone? It's nice, it's lean, perfect spy. Doesn't know he's a spy. That's the. It's Jason Bourne for you right there. <laughs> yeah, you, you can't uh, give away what you're doing on the mission if you don't even know what you're doing on the mission. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Still rocking the crash gym outfit? Hell yeah, you need to get yourself a, a nice gym outfit, Nick. Something that gets you in the mindset. Got uh, got my jorts, my red converses, my gloves, my orange shirt. I'm Crash Bandicoot converses and I put on the music. Out? Yeah, I look just like Crash Bandicoot, Ooh, brother. Uncomfortable. Ew, he says. Ow. Punch me. Uh, granted, I'm also do calisthenics, so it's not like the shoes really matter. George orange shirt, John Cena. That too, yeah, it was pretty close to John Cena. I'm not. I'm a little upset. Man, oh, yeah. yeah, use this field of view. <laughs> God one was the beginning of ADS obsession of first person shooters. I don't mind it because you know you're a third person and, or uh, what was it? Who who did it to where it's third person but it snaps to first? Uh, I mean a lot of games have done that, but um, the most recent one I can think of was like Ghost Recon, uh, Wildlands, and Breakpoint. You know, like I like those the ones where it's like, oh, I can see your gear, and then bah, snap forward. The Manchurian Candidate, that's that's one too, with Leave Schreiber. Splinter Cell did that, yeah, I think. Mm -hmm. Either like this, where it's like gun down, or aim down sights. Or third person aim down sights. Yeah, the older games, they used to just do that for the sniper rifles. Oh, they just, just want me to shoot that. Helldivers does that? Yeah, Helldivers does that. There you go. 
That's so good too. Like, Helldivers wouldn't be nearly as funny if you couldn't see your character. Nah, yeah, third person. I, I prefer third person shooters in this day and age. Yeah, I like seeing my character flopping around. And what a great cape. I'll tell you what. Top five capes in video games. Go, all right. We're in this boat we're not supposed to be in, we think. What if you're a double agent and you forgot that? Oh shit, I just killed all my allies. Oh. Do you remember Thunderhead? No capes. Yeah. That the mode would not be happy with me. There's I, yeah, the Call of Duty, Call Duddy, perfect sleeper. What a band. Bing. <laughs> I almost missed this. I don't know at what point shooters did this, but they would put in sway, right? I'm like, I don't know. I kind of like that just laser sight. Laser sight with sway? They. No, no, I'm saying like right now, like just aim down sights, don't shoot nothing, don't move either. Just aim down sights. Yeah, like, there you go, a straight, solid line, no movement whatsoever, but nowadays all the guns have sway on them. Uh, yeah. Just get oh, in there. Captain Take Price perfect. died. What? Oh, no, oh, guess he won't be in Call of Duty 2. Damn, he won't be in Rush <laughs> Hour 3. The time to play the Russians with Soviets. Soyuz Derushimi. Respublik Spidonik. They have advanced deep into the Soviet Union, capturing city after city. Ben B says these games would be a lot cooler if they did unreliable narrator stuff. Like narrator stuff. May I introduce you to Call of Duty Black Ops? Yep. <laughs> that's literally what you're asking for. <laughs> that, that's why it's my favorite. I was like, oh, y'all lied to me. <laughs> Everyone lied to me. Comrade Frost, now you know. <laughs> Yespion. Which means I'm a spy in Russian. This game is like just the destroyed cityscape still looks pretty impressive. Yeah, you know. Do you think they made the whole building then destroyed it or designed it destroyed? No, they designed it that way. Okay. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? Like if I was if I was to make a war game, I would make a proper city and then I I would code in a bomb and then I'd bomb it and then like man, there you go, nice. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that's gotta be less work. I don't think that's how that works. Like that's got it. That's very like you know SpongeBob making the circle with the full featured face and then erasing the features. <laughs> oh, Seen straight out of Enemy at the Gates. I mean, most of the sniper missions are essentially. Yeah, just the original the Call of Duty campaigns are really heavily inspired by World War II movies at the time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like um, the one with, where you're with Reznov for the first time in World at War, that is just straight up enemy at the gates. <laughs> everybody went, everybody crouched down and I just, I'm just standing there like no big deal. They should have shot you for that. Hell, I got down after. It's fine. Oh, yeah. Oh, game saved. How nice of them. Is there a level like Schindler's List that's all in black and white except for the Mountain Dew power-ups? Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know if they've ever made you do a black and white mission. Oh. They should, shouldn't they? They should stylize some levels. What Call of Duty game was it where you could play all the levels out of order? Like, from the start? 
Is there one that does that? I forget which one it was. There was like a big outcry of like, why can you just do that? I don't remember. I don't remember if there mm -hmm. was one. Also, it was like post ghost. I got ammo, but I didn't get a gun. He just handed me ammo. Just, just throw, throw the bullets. Yeah, well, yeah. So I'm just gonna throw it. Flick it. I, I got no gun. <laughs> I love how everybody hobbles. Floor cradle. Hey, somebody dies, I can get your gun. Are you supposed to not have a gun? I don't think so. I don't. I don't think so either. <laughs> yeah, as I get it, I'm shell shocked. Game, thank you. <laughs> yeah, throw the bullets like Charlie Sheen and Hot Shots Part D. Infinite Warfare, maybe, maybe. Oh well, Infinite Warfare wasn't out of order, but you could do like a, there was a bunch of side missions. I'm gonna be a good Russian shoulder and go up here, flip no ammo, and, or no gun, and just see what happens. Oh, is it one of those you're supposed to die so that you can understand the futility of war? Or I don't think so. <laughs> I died. Understand the futility of war now? Oh, no, you're right. Give me give me a gun, right? bro. This was actually how the war went. Uh, well, because I was there, the way I said that. <laughs> oh, find, more... a mayor, find a more experienced soldier and obtain new orders. Like, that's funny. Like, yo, fuck this. Yeah, no, where they would have, like, less guns than men, so they would just send them running out, and if the guy in front of you with the gun died, you just take it. <laughs> it's my turn with the talking <laughs> stick. That's crazy. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn it. And then the Centurion saying it's a complete myth, and I'm lying on the internet. Oh, man. They're actually over-equipped, and nobody else does that anyway. Dang it. So they actually went in with, like, three guns, weighing them down. Can you imagine one soldier, seven guns, just like he wants one. Oh, he's just sending me out as bait. <laughs> oh, they're far ahead, right? Instant source fact check on the internet. What a time we live in. Now I know, now I can be the guy that corrects people when they say that fun fact. Come on, run over and give me that gun. <laughs> you see, Ivan. <laughs> You go first. Yeah, well, I know, I know, I, I know. Uh, I, I, I know Russian tactics in the war. I've been following the Ukraine war. They, uh, they, just, they just send them out meat grinders. Listen, man, I could get this done a lot quicker if you just gave me that. You're a rookie. You don't know. Or you have a small head. <laughs> Audio goes off way after the subtitles do. Okay. Are you condemning these violent acts, Nick? You forgot to condemn this. War yes, is bad. All condemned. Everyone. You're all going to hell. That's why we keep getting into new wars, because we ran out of COD games. We need another war so we can make another COD game. What do you mean? There's one coming out this year. A new war? New, no, well, I mean, not a new war, but hopefully not a new war. But, uh, yeah. Call of Duty Gulf War this year. Oh, that's right. You gotta, you gotta wait, though. Like, like, it's gonna be a while before they do the COD where we're in Afghanistan. They already did that. Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare the original. And the new ones. Is, it, is that them in Afghanistan the way we did, or just the Middle East? That's a, that's a little different. Uh, I mean, they don't call it directly. Ooh, God, this uh, this screen shake effect. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <is> sick. Right. <laughs> it's just you being violently ill. Yeah, like COD Ukraine. That's a little too soon, you know. This looks better than this. Can you kill him for the sniper? No. 
Like, it's a lot of friendly fire back in those days, you know? Man, this still looks impressive for all the skin is. Right? Look at us. It's so goofy. <laughs> yeah. They should give you the flag like they did in uh, World of War. Oh, yeah. Probably have. You actually did it. I requested COD 2 last week. Not yet. Fresh, this is COD 1. We'll get this COD one. 2 next week. I'm, I'm very think. excited to replay Call of Duty 2. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm here waiting for COD 4. Oh, baby. <laughs> oh, no. This is still COD 1. <laughs> You're right, Andrew. I should um, I should get a uh, a cod outfit. I was considering the bucket hat, but uh, half the price doesn't have his bucket hat yet. Not playing the expansion. Uh, uh, probably what at this stream. Uh, yeah. If we have time today, I should get. I should be able to start it today. I do have a, a Yushanka, yes, I do. How expensive do you think, like, an actual old-school army helmet would be? Depends. Not really, yeah. it depends what you're going for. World War One, World War Two, Civil War? Let's go World War Two. The farther back you go, the more expensive it's going to get. Even if it's fake? Oh, fake. I thought you wanted, like, a legit one. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Is that in poor taste? What? Army helmets. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know, see? Should I be condemning them? You get one for fifty nine ninety nine and it comes with the goggles. That's kind of fun. Now we got Tommy Softy with the ten plins. Nick, no more extra drama. We appreciate your work. Oh, no, you didn't. Don't get the Nazi one. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> but it's got a skull on it. Are we the baddies? You ever go to the army surplus store? They got all the military shit in there. Yeah, I've seen those. Um, we, we had a camo day back in high school. Ooh. Classic fit, you know. Adidas, camel, for, camel fatigues, and a black shirt. Classic. Uh, genuine question, are any Ukraine studios making games based on the current war we know of? I saw there were like two. There's, I don't, yeah, I don't know if it's a Ukraine studio making one, but I think there is somebody making something about the Ukraine war, but I think it's more of like a cash-in bullshit thing. Right. Uh, nobody, uh, nobody with the right sense in their head would be making that. Yeah, it's a bit, a bit too early. Yeah. It's a bit premature. I don't think anything will ever be made about it, because it's pretty close to just, yeah, I don't know. Not in our lifetime, no. Yeah, well, yeah. Like, I'll be at the nursing home. Well, in our lifetime, well, they're already making war games about the Middle East. <laughs> Are they? What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's literally a uh, six days in Fallujah that's in early access. Oh, right I now. was thinking, I was thinking like Activision, not like oh, everyone else. Like a big publisher. Yeah, like a huge... Excuse me. Uh, no, I don't know. Like, like they're running out of content at that point. There are so many other wars. Do <laughs> you think they go like? I mean, they never. Historical? They never really did like a, like the closest thing to like a Vietnam game was in AAA of Black Ops. Yeah. Yeah, you're on the like the Ho Chi Minh Trail and all that. Imagine they do something film-wise first. Yeah, there you go. If the movie comes out, then they'll go, okay, it's fine. We can do it now. Hey, guard. Mm, next card set in the go for it. Yep. Kind of surprising they're touching that one. I don't think so, simply because uh, that's the Black Ops one, right? Which one? The go for one. Uh, that's, yeah, that's supposed to be this year. Okay. See, if you go in very, like, conspiratorial, it, it's okay, I think. Not me, they think. Now oh, I need to find the officer. There you go. Black Ops had a level in Vietnam. Uh, yeah. 
Uh, talk about, uh, what is it? Taken from films, I think they got that, that Russian roulette scene in there. It's Christopher Walken, you guys remember that movie? What's that movie I'm thinking of? Which switch scene? It's an old war film with Christopher Walken playing Russian roulette because he's a prisoner of war. Deer Hunter, thank you. an idea in the future now that they're essentially viewed in real time anyway via social media really like, you know you got dunkirk coming through all quiet on the western front again <laughs> even uh you know american sniper wasn't too long ago is it casino royale yeah when uh it's christopher walken goes in and goes bond james bond <laughs> shake it up stir it more cowbell. Mm -hmm. Did you go the right way? Oh, okay. There's some quiet streets. These snipers shooting at me. But they don't realize I've been quick scoping. <laughs> I was born in it. <laughs> <laughs> I was born in the scope. This is Call of Duty that's most realistic. <laughs> Running Honestly, through the streets of the sniper. Oh, oh, oh quick scoped. <laughs> no. Uh, no scopes. No. <laughs> Teabag him. The good old American way. <laughs> As for other unexpected James Bonds, Jack Black. There you go. Oh, that be sniper beast machine gun. Are you guys planning on playing more old CODs? We're going to play all the CODs. All of them. Every Friday, all the gods. And if we're lucky, or just, you know, serendipity, we get to the brand newest one when it releases. <laughs> That'd be some timing, but we didn't plan that far ahead. I do want to play Big Red 1 again. I'll have to, obviously, we'll have to emulate that one. There you go. It's be fun playing that at 60 frames. Where, where the old call it 60 frames on PS2? I don't not remember. On, not on console, sir, no. Well, they've always they've had a mandate though. I can't remember which Call of Duty was the first 60 frames one. I know Call of Duty 2 was 60 frames. I just don't remember if Finest Hour was. Were you ever um? Did you ever do the Battlefield games? Yeah. Yeah, like uh, Bad Company in them. Oh yeah. Oh, I love Bad Company. Mm -hmm. Good narratives there. Uh, let's see here. Uh, that's another Frost. My son, are you gonna play the expansion pack, user? We got yes. the expansion. Yeah, the thing Nick went on a huge buying spree during the sale and got everything COD related. Yeah, the only one that's uh, the only one that's not on PC and never came to PC was Call of Duty Three. Well, I guess Finest Hour and Big Red One aren't on PC, but yeah, Call of Duty Three uh -huh. is like the one mainline Call of Duty that never came to PC. <laughs> we didn't want it anyways. We just wanted Black Ops to go on sale for once. Below 30 bucks. To be fair, COD 3 is one of the worst ones. Probably. Is that when... Um, I like I like Call of Duty 3. Wait, was COD 3... like? Is that when the team split off and did Modern Warfare in tandem? Because these yes. used to be on a two-year cycle. That, yes. that might explain it. Yeah, Call of Duty 3 was made by Treyarch. Well, Infinity mm -hmm. Ward was working on Modern Warfare, and that was because they thought Modern Warfare was not going to sell well, so they wanted a World War II one just in case. I love it when that's his thing. Like, Shrek was the punishment <laughs> if you weren't doing well as an animator. 
Modern Warfare was like, oh, you've been a naughty coder. Go. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't want to. Captain Price again. <laughs> no. Generally play games for less than 10 bucks. Hell yeah, brother. A little budget gaming out here. Is it Reddit? I frequent. I love it. It's called uh, Patient Gamers. Oh, yeah. I read that all the time. It's so good where they're like, yeah, so uh, what's anybody think about Bioshock? <laughs> I just got it for like two bucks. I'm excited. <laughs> I love uh, so, I love pa so I love patient gamers because I'll go in there like to read about games that I've or I bought and like sit in my backlog. I'm like, convince me, convince me the games journal to play these games. Just, yeah, just play it. Get in there. <laughs> I got. Let's see what they got here. Oh. Classic. I've had that death screen for a while. That like, boom, sudden Dutch camera angle. And there was always a quote. They don't yeah. do it anymore, though. They don't do the quotes anymore. We think. Call of Duty's lost its identity. Makes hmm? me sad. Okay, so Call of Duty's lost its identity. It makes me sad. Oh, it was a long time ago. Apex Legends has it now. We got, uh, we, got here. we got someone saying, I'm really, I'm really not sure how I feel about Horizon Zero Dawn two days ago. <laughs> oh, I'm patient gamers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Ghost of Tsushima, that came out a bit ago, too. Dang, these are a bit more mod. Oh, there it is. I played Prince of Persia. <laughs> and it's probably not the same game you think of. Okay. Mm -hmm. Dear God, a Skyrim guide. In this day and age. What, what, do, I gotta, what do I gotta run across before these guys pop up? Not even Apex Legends has it. Yeah, I wonder how that's happened. I wonder where the like OGs have gone off to. <laughs> They've all gone to their own independent studios. Dang. I don't think anybody. Really, I don't think anybody really wants to work on the same game forever. <laughs> no, yeah, that's fair. Yeah, I think I'd you know, like, like, make, make some shooters and leave. Yeah, you can't like you can't take like Vince and Pella and all those guys that just love to keep making better and better games and throw them on Apex Legends. Like, yeah, you're gonna work on this for the rest of your days. Yeah, something like that. What a waste of talent too. Like to have them even try to do that. Yeah, that's why I wasn't. Um, that's why I didn't commit to being a cook. Oh, uh, like for college? Is this not the Team Fortress 2 map? <laughs> uh, like a train station in the middle and everything. Oh my God! I wouldn't say a train station in the middle of a map is unique. Uh, yeah, Gears they of War has that. <laughs> robbed them. I can't believe it. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's why I didn't commit to being a cook because at best you work for like one really really nice restaurant, but it's the same menu over and over. Yeah. To have the freedom to experiment, like you are some crazy crack stuff. Absolutely not. <laughs> Gordon. Gordon Ramsay. Yeah, you have to be like a celebrity chef or like a freaking prodigy of sorts. Uh, Prince of Persia, which one? Uh, Forgotten Sands, the 2010 one. That's another series I plan on going through this year at some point. Prince of Persia? Yep, never played them. Hmm. I, I like really growing up I I played a lot of like the expected games but I wasn't like I didn't really get heavy into gaming until the 360 Same. like back end like I had you know I had my call I liked very specific games growing up and I would only play specific games mm -hmm. Go. Yeah, specific games. It was mostly shooters. It was yeah, a, Halo mostly sh or Super Smash or sports games. That was all I played. I was very much a, a normie gamer yeah. growing up. It was uh, let's see, yeah. I think it was the Binding of Isaac that made me go. Yeah, these indie games got a little something <laughs> going on here. Yeah, it was when I it was when I got into games media. I started like covering games for as a job, like not a job, but just covering them as a hobby before I <laughs> she started making money. I like really started to expand my games because my first like my first big review copy was uh Darksiders 2 and then I was like oh man I've been messing out right yeah uh, uh, 
Then I was always a budget gamer, so it was mostly like stick to the same game. Or I'm glad that live service wasn't a thing when I was growing up because I would probably stay this, on like on the same game forever. Yeah. I'm so freaking. It's kind of the sad part about like, I guess kids growing up gaming today. Cause, like they mm. have so many options, but like those games are just the games for them to play. And... Yeah, very de facto. It's it's really hard to argue against the the logic behind um, a live service game because yeah. it's essentially the most game. Yeah, but, but I mean, like, I mean, I don't know. I guess I say that, but I mean, us growing up was, you know, everybody either played Call of Duty or Halo. Yeah, that's fair. And that was it. <laughs> yeah. Like, and it was Call of Duty every year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, you know, whatever. I, I think it's decent. You get more people in a gaming, the trade off is that maybe they stick to one game, but they might find others. With this FES with the two year old, you could have become a cooking YouTuber for us. Maybe. I don't know. I did, uh, did boil some chicken once. <clears throat> that was interesting. Very gross. And I, I, I have a perfect show idea for you. Mm -hmm. Being a chef and giving games criticism at the same time while you make food. The, <laughs> <laughs> the chef Wait. gamer. Is that just like I'm doing the review, but like I'm making eggs yeah. on the side? Like, wait, what? Yeah, I'm just cooking and like, you know, I really liked uh, Dragon's Dogma 2 and mm, it's, creme fresh I my had, eggs. Like, I honestly had that idea because and I lean away from it because it, even though it's noir narration, a lot of the way I think about games is based on how we used to critique food. And I was like, there's probably a food that re like kind of represents how I feel about this game. So like... I'm just making it, and as I'm talking through it, but <laughs> Call of Duty is like cheese pizza, bland. It, you wish still that is that is like, I, at this point it's like got me a pack of Ritz crackers and uh, some spray cheese, and I'm good to go. Spray well, cheese and Ritz crackers on pizza. Cheese in a can is bougier than you think. Absolutely. Listen, Dragon's people, hot people dog too. <laughs> People will be more fancy with their food of charcuterie boards and it costs like a hundred dollars. Right, yeah, like oof. all these dates and for what? Dates are good. I love dates, yes. But not the like premium ones. I used to eat oatmeal with the feta cheese, exactly. But no, because uh, then you'll insult two uh, Wait, did you communities. Say oatmeal with time. feta cheese? Yeah, some people like a savory what? oatmeal. Yeah. No. Like this, this strange thing. All right, hear me out. Uh, some people like oatmeal with a, and a slice of, uh, like a craft single, smacked right in the middle of it. Oh, I'm like, well, I'm going to sound Whatever that down. does for you. You're not putting the feta cheese in the oatmeal, are you? What else is it going, Nick? Fuck, that's weird. Why? Why? No, <laughs> cheese doesn't go in oatmeal. <laughs> that's, uh, no, that's Who did I'm this? Saying. I'm not the one eating it. I'm just reporting here. <laughs> oh, Who no. did this? <laughs> I condemn it. Yeah. I can, yeah, I do condemn that. I don't know. Some people like their savory oatmeal. You know? No, some people are just wrong. They shouldn't some, be around Some people are British, this. Nick. You know? No. They've got their savory Fe puddings. Feta cheese is great. Don't put it in fucking oatmeal. I'm upset. <laughs> I'm upset. We should try some. <laughs> so wrong. So many places. Ah, mechanical walnut. Feta cheese is goaded. Feta cheese is fantastic. I love feta cheese. Mm. I would never think to put cheese in oatmeal. So uh, you want to cut it? You want to cut it? But think of you know how we had to come up with 50 SEOs a week essentially in the culinary industry. You got to come up with 50 different palates, and sometimes you know you press for time, so you're like oatmeal feta, sure. And somebody goes, you know what, this is okay. Somebody with no taste buds that just puts mush in their mouth. That's all the taste buds. That's how we used to like test our palates. I used to just make horrible foods. Very food wars. That's probably why I like that anime, is because the two best cooks in the world are all they have a competition to find the nastiest food they can find. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. You scared him. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be. The, that's my next Halloween costume. Feta cheese oatmeal. Yeah, <laughs> it's gonna be a bowl of oatmeal with feta cheese. Yeah, uh, it's 
All cheeses gross me a lactose intolerant. That's in, there's two kinds of lactose intolerance. The kinds that are like, you know, cheese is detestable. <laughs> But curse I'm upon to suffer for it. <laughs> yeah, and then there's the like, give me that. They're like, oh, it's gonna hurt so <laughs> bad later, but I'm I want shit it. My brains out later, but it yeah. was worth it. And they let you know too constantly <laughs> yeah. while they're eating. I'm gonna shit everywhere, but this is so good. <laughs> it's, <yeah. laughs> it's good timing for that. As I'm in a sewer. Yeah, yeah. There are two wolves in me. One is lactose intolerant. Well, they're both lactose intolerant. <laughs> <laughs> I'm lactose, and I don't care. Oh. <laughs> lactate jesus yeah i got that friend too that's like good thing i took my lactate or this would mess me up <laughs> yeah. i'm gonna eat this cheese uh just have 911 on speed dial please mm, like oh this is gonna hurt but it's gonna be so worth it this cheese pizza <laughs> this ice cream you know. oh god it's just yeah, hey, I'll see you next month. You're gonna toilet a while. Never see him again. I have known people from the Midwest who smother oatmeal and butter. Cheese is just one step up from that. Fair enough. Uh, the Midwest is interesting as far as what they eat. It's, uh, are you are a, you a big uh, are you big grits guy? Grits are is that to me is the most neutral food you'll ever eat. I don't hate it. I don't love it. It's just super. It's just there. My brain almost goes. You don't want to know what this tastes like, so I'm just gonna give you an error message. When I was uh down at Jackson, Mississippi, like people were just raving about grits, and they put it on my plate, and I was like, this is all right. <laughs> yeah, right. It's the most like oh, okay. But they were like, you gotta have the grits. It's so good. I'm like, this tastes like paper. Yeah, that's what I don't understand. I've never met someone who hates grits, but I've it's I always find people who love them and I'm like, why? Yes. Yeah. It's, <laughs> yeah. it's like paper mache, yeah. Isn't that people that like super spicy stuff too? Uh I don't know. I don't I've never known too many spice heads that are like, Oh, this uh, is gonna oh, hurt oh, later. Oh, 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 you need to uh go eat with Omar. Oh, he's you like he's the spice? A fiend. Well, of course. They got the first like night. Me. The first night they were in, uh, what you call it, uh, DC for the Adventures and I shoot. I get in, and I'm like, yeah, I haven't eaten dinner yet. And they're like, oh hey, we have some chicken in the fridge. I'm like, oh yeah, that sounds pretty good. And they're like, oh yeah, it's uh, it'll make your lips, it'll make your mouth go numb. It's like that doesn't sound nice. I don't want that. That doesn't sound nice. What was it? What'd you guys have? They they got like, very, some weird Chinese chicken that made your mouth go numb. Nah, that'd be fine. What's Omar again? Filipino? I don't, I don't, I don't really know what Omar's all a mix of. I don't know, but he's, he's, he's darker than I am. He can take the heat. Oh, well, that's what I mean. Well, yeah, he eats everything. Yeah, I can take well, the heat. He actually has a lot of food allergies, but... Oh, that's unfortunate. He can't eat peanuts, uh, can't eat shellfish. He's dangerously, he's dangerously ill with shellfish. Like, can't geez. even touch it. That's when your body's too strong and fights against you. <laughs> Immune system too good. What's the best use of banana? You just eat it, brother. You ain't gotta go crazy. Best one? Best use of they, banana? They, they made Carl Sagan eat banana with a slice of cheese once. <laughs> Dr. Calc says I had family in none other than Jackson, Mississippi. And they love yeah. their grits, but I could hardly get them down. Yeah. Yep. Oh, wait, that guy was oh, supposed wait. to go first. We sent him out first, not me. It wasn't Carl Sagan, it was Mr. Rogers. I forgot about that. Am I supposed to protect this guy? Eliminate the snipers. What's with the people in Jackson, Mississippi oh. loving grits? I don't know. That's uh, my my ex lived there, and we went to a diner, and her family was like, You gotta have the grits. You gotta have the grits. I'm like, Okay. Uh oh. And then we broke up. Dad, I would too. <laughs> I feel like, This is the best food ever. I'm like, That was so middling. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to see you ever again. <laughs> I don't know where this is going. <laughs> that kinky um, shit. <laughs> it starts with grits, and then people say, I like Peggle. Like, you know, oh, no. <laughs> you did this. Just a southern thing. <laughs> now, I see, because I, well, I was raised near the Mason Dixon line. It's so not exactly southern, but the, the, um, I would all constantly travel down. The Carolinas, the Georgias, the Alabamas—they don't—they don't care for grits like that. They have it on the menu, but they don't rave about it. What's wrong with grits? There's nothing wrong, nothing with, wrong grits. with grits. It's, it's just like about, it's like being excited for saltine crackers. Yeah, there you go. Granted, 
I like water, right? I find water to be delicious and refreshing, so maybe that's it. Grits is just water you chew. Well, that's just ice, isn't it? See, grits with right, shrimp, well, now, well, we're, now another, we're reaching this. Well, that's another this. thing. I don't, like, water doesn't have a taste. <laughs> I don't know. We're going to have to get your palate checked, bud. You, it what? You're going to have to get your palate checked, bud. Water tastes like water. <laughs> it's, it's like... Yeah. It's the water. <laughs> Granted, I grew up like water. Uh, water like, to me doesn't taste like it. It's just refreshing. Yeah, it's a sensation. Cause grits like that mush they eat in the Okay, matrix. well, okay. I all right. I lied. Well, no, I didn't lie. But like, the taste of Aquafina water is better than the Sani. Sure. And yeah. Fiji water is for hippies. <laughs> it's so crispy though. <laughs> so so juicy. <laughs> Fiji's got cr juicier water than everybody else. Uh, SVS for the two euro. G cold sparkling water is great in the summer. Yes. That's You're the not going to detract me from. Uh, that's the one uh, thing that I, I, annoys me when I go to Europe is they always have they only have like sparkling water and I'm just like I just want flat water. <laughs> Sparkling? Water. Yeah, every every time you go, uh, like fizzy water. Why? I don't know. I don't know why Europe does it. They just every water you get is like always uh, either sparkling or it's just it's room temperature. It's never cold. I don't know why Europe doesn't like their water cold. <laughs> <laughs> probably because I, I don't know. They probably like get it from the hose or something. Like, who <laughs> asked for water? You nasty. <laughs> Just goes in and gets it from the bathroom toilet. <laughs> I mean, it's warm enough, it might be coming out of there. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe in the Western Europe? Maybe. Maybe in the Europe's Western Europe? No, it was in, it was in Europe, er, Eastern Europe, too, when I was in Prague. Dude. <laughs> it was everywhere was fizzy water. Strange. That's interesting. Yeah, just a weird culture thing. Like People like their, their fizzy water. Uh, Europe has a weird thing about not putting ice in their drinks. Well, here's the thing. Yeah, though. no, they don't. Like when they give you when they give you like a mug of water, there's never ice in it. It's always just room temperature. That's that's something. What? That's I don't know. See, America's got this issue where like if I'm getting a soda or something, I also don't get ice in it because it comes out cold. So they're giving you less soda. Yeah. Well, and they also just load it with ice. Yep. Always. A mug of room temperature water. Who puts ice in their cup of water? A lot of people. What? Probably people who are like, you guys are probably low on iron. You need the ice to chew on. Ow. Stupid machine guns. You got a uh, SPS again with the five euro because you have to pay for the water. No free water for you, so you only got bottled water. Uh -oh. I'll live. Yeah, I, I've, I've had worse. I was raised on like well water, creek water. <laughs> no, at least you weren't in Michigan with lead water. Yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> I, I bet that has a taste. I'll tell you what though, I've been in a lot of states, some depressive. Florida's got some funky taste in God water. God damn it. And that's more of a recent thing. Uh, Yeah, Kansas City's like tap water. Cause like I yeah I, I can't I can't drink water out of the sink. It's just it tastes weird. It tastes like sink. <laughs> it tastes like shit. Yeah, it's gotta gotta be filtered water out of the fridge like this. Do you have a Do you have a Brita? Is that what you're telling me? No. No way. Oh. Actually, I do. But I don't use that. Oh, uh, good. <laughs> Reminds me, I need to probably change my filter. Probably yeah. It's like a cup of water every five hours. <laughs> Juicy. I'm gonna sneak over there. Yes, hose water as a kid is the best water. Just, just had that something in there, you know, minerals. You know, all the rust in the tube. Oh, yeah. You gotta be careful, though, especially in the summer. My cousin went to have a sip of the hose water, but burned you, know, his you gotta let that, yeah, you gotta let that thing run, you know? There was a hot hose, went straight through, burned his tongue. Poor guy. God damn it. Why is this so difficult? <laughs> oh, yeah, there you go, Dr. Kill. You know about the sulfur in the water. Yeah, if your water smells like eggs, it's got sulfur in it. It's pretty pretty common with, like, well water. 
below eight degrees Celsius, water loses the flavor. Yeah, like if it comes down to it, just be eating ice cubes. You won't taste it. How many of there are you? Are we gonna see 360 no scopes today? Not, they weren't invented yet. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. Shit. Rust, you mean bacteria? Rusty bacteria. You know, we didn't we didn't need vaccines back then. Just drink out the hose. God damn you! <laughs> oh, now he I throws a grenade at me. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I survived COVID. I drank hose water. So what's giving you issue here? What's going on? There's just so many guys shooting at me, and there's no health, and it's hard to get back there. Mm. Funny second when playing Rust. I don't know about that, but I hate that game. <laughs> that game's just toxic. The game. I don't mind it. It's just like I'm not here 24/7 to defend my stuff, so I don't want to play. All right, we're, we're we're gonna Call of Duty Modern Warfare this. Oh. Bunny he hopping. Drop shot. Bunny hopping. He's toxic. Yeah, bunny hopping. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Do we have the expansion? We do indeed have the expansion. Yes. Uh, forget the name. Oh, no! Mm. Okay. <laughs> Alright. So you've tried sniper, you've tried throwing a bajillion grenades. That's nice. Quit running okay. away from my grenades. Take it like a man. Do you sign up for Marvel's Rivals? Uh, uh, there's a sign up? Yes. No, we're cool. We don't need to sign up. That's fair. <laughs> Do you intend to play it? More so? I want to try it. Yeah. I still think it's going to be very generic. We should uh, get Jay on that and do it for a shoot the shit. I just want to play the Hulk for like three days and you know, be done with it. I'm an, an adventurous man. I'm willing to try any kind of game. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Ow! Get out of there! Those, those are your machine guns. I need this. Thank you. All right. Nope. You come out here. You're not supposed to get up when I shoot you. I hate it when people use vanilla as an insult. That's an insult oh, to no, vanilla no, itself. No, no, no. It's an insult within context. You no. have no health. <laughs> Yo. There it goes. I like vanilla more than chocolate. You gotta understand the space we find ourselves in. Like, you want something spicy. So if it's not spicy, I ain't gonna cut it. I assume this is working. I can't tell. Sure, just close your eyes and play some more. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm with you though, Fresh. It should it be an great. insult, right? You can do it. You're doing it, I think. You just need some Evanescence playing, some Linkin Park. I do need some Linkin Park. Your headshot montage here. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> Alright. Maybe I'm just better with the sniper. Hey, Machine guns are for wussies. It's point and click adventure. Ow! Shit! Oh. Who shot me? Can I see you guys in here? No. Who's shooting me? Oh, you're alive. Ow, stop it! <laughs> what? Your friend punched you for saying vanilla was your favorite? That's interesting. How'd I elbow some friends? <laughs> yeah, like what? Are you probably you're probably being hyperbolic here. I'm missing context here, but if I say, like, what's your favorite flavor? Vanilla. Oosh. 
No, I'd have had a body on me. No, I bet they're like, what flavor do you want? Vanilla. They don't have vanilla. Well, I only want vanilla. No. Like you're gonna take chocolate and you're gonna like it. No, I want like... vanilla, and then they get punched for it. <laughs> yeah. like I already told you, they don't have vanilla. Ah! Like this guy. Yeah, yeah. Give me your health. Give me health. Yeah. Don't you wish you were Doom Guy right now? I am Doom off. Guy. Oh, oh no. Oh, you're Doom Guy. That's what you are. Why are you in here? I'm shooting <laughs> other people. <laughs> get out of. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. Vanilla's underrated. I think it's pretty well rated. No! Oh, no! You had Why? It. Oh my god, I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. Uh oh, there's mines there. Yeah, I was. What are you doing? <laughs> I saw the sign. I just didn't know if there was a way to get around the wall the other way. <laughs> I just can't read. No, I'm using these guys' as shields now. Alrighty. Oh, oh. One shot. They'll keep Come running on. to the uh, machine gun and just keep popping. There you go. Surely there's a limited amount of people in there. I don't know if they keep spawning until I go there. <laughs> I don't know either. So far, using this guy's cover is working. Okay. You just shot him. <laughs> there you go. Stop it! Asshole. Sergeant Pavlov! Condition the man. Sergeant! <laughs> You're Sergeant Shithead. There you go. Do you think there's a limited amount in there? There's less less and less shooting happening, so yeah. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. That's what I do miss from older games, is that sometimes they would just give you a level with a finite amount of enemies. Nowadays, it's like, ha, ah, we have the technology to make an infinite amount of spawning enemies. It's like, I didn't want that. I want, I, want, I want to see the numbers diminish. Does OG God not have quick save? Uh, oh my wait, god, I did a, it. Is that a thing now? <laughs> oh, good job. Didn't even have to go in. <laughs> There's <laughs> another guy that popped up. I saw my life so literally flash. Grab some my health, eyes. man. Yeah. I'm working on it. There you go. Can I have books? <laughs> I almost shot him and he just says no problem. Just go with it. Red Dwarf, we got 200 biddies unfollowed, too much frost. JK, this is a reference to a Firelink comment. That's fun. Ow, 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 ow! Thank you for the 200 biddies. If you make me go through that building again, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have a freak. Aw, oh, you son of a... But you know how it works, though. I just can't tell who's who when they're in the building, because they, <laughs> they're all wearing the same stuff. Three shots in there from before. Oh boy. <laughs> no. You guys go clear it out floor by floor. I'm, I'm standing back here where I'm safe. Eating my own teammate's health. Oh my god, he starts shooting me immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Dickhead. Who's here? Nobody's here. You guys go up the floor first. Well, I gotta go first. I'm not the commander. 
That's probably why. Ah, nope. Nope. Who are you shooting? Is there somebody outside? What? <gasps> he threw a grenade! <laughs> Get away from there. Ooh. I don't trust him. I want well, you best find some help, brother. Well, I'm looking. I'm afraid. I'm afraid to go up those stairs. Yeah, somebody who's beaten this game before. Is this the, is this a memorably difficult spot? <laughs> Mission. <Fuck. failure. sighs> Wait, this is PC. He doesn't need a game genie. He's the key. The genie key. Well, nothing's coming up. Wait. Oh my god, it's saved finally. I don't have to do this all again. Oh, you did it. Look at that. Now I can be an idiot. <laughs> I can be a silly little guy again. I can't tell who's an enemy and who's not. It's like gray or slightly green gray. Yeah, <laughs> now you know what it's like actually fighting in the war. <laughs> Oh, is it Red Dwarf with 148 biddies? Congrats, Nick. <laughs> Who is shooting me? <laughs> there you go. There you go. What's so special about this building? I don't know. <laughs> is Hitler here? He better be after all this. <laughs> no, you stay there. Let me shoot you in your feet. Is there another floor to this building? It just keeps going. No more floors. <laughs> it's a liminal space. Ooh, what if I made a video game where it's just never-ending floors you have to clear out? Pretty sure there is a yeah. video game. But the only way out of it is to go down and be like, wait, is it still going? I, uh, I'm I'm quite cur curious about that uh, game that Robert Bowling and Doctor Disrespect are making. Curious in what way? Uh, it's I think it's an extraction game, but unlike a lot of games that are very horizontal in their maps, uh, their their game is very vertical. Right, Weren't those like the only kinds of maps Doctor Disrespect made when he worked for COD? I don't know. I don't know what like, maps he made. I, think, I always I forget feel like that he, he actually worked for Call of Duty. Yeah, and he's not just like a strange character. He's like the Tom Cruise of video games with how high <laughs> yeah. energy he is. Sounds just like him. He's from a, I think he's from a bygone era of developers, as I have uh, recently learned. <laughs> yeah, but maybe like bygone, like maybe for a good reason? <laughs> yeah. <I don't> know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like, yeah, we don't say these words no more. <laughs> yeah. We don't design like this anymore for good reason. Where are the stairs? There they are. <laughs> There's still somebody alive in this house? Where are you? I want to be done with this level. It's made me angry. You're gonna get all the bullets that I can feed you when I find you. <sighs> oh, you! No, now I gotta go down to the second and third floor. What a douche! <laughs> what a douche! My commander's a dick. <laughs> we have to win the war. I don't wanna. Know. Not today. This. Oh. I don't think this is how this gun works, but I may be wrong. Now I gotta go back up the stairs. Get out of my way, Pavlov! Oh, look at that. This sniper looks like fun. Oh, you get to. No, oh, it's not a sniper. Oh, wait, what the hell is it? Good job. It's an anti tank rifle. Look at that. Shit. You can nail it. Let me pick it up and just shoot people at it. Oh, my God.
You're alright, you're alright. Whew. You gotta stay alive for three minutes, bud. This is my house three now. I fought for this house. Time. Get away from me. <laughs> are, you, are your troops like actually fighting for you? What's going on here? Oh, this bit has suddenly made me remember this level such a pain. Ah, oh, it's not just you, though. I think I got him. No, I'll do, I'll do another one. All that's left is a little health box. <laughs> oh, we could use that right now. Oh shit, you right. I need health. Well, there you go. <laughs> just come back periodically to ragdoll that guy. Yeah. Are you even shooting? What happened there? Yes, I'm shooting. That tank blew up. Oh. There you go. Two guys, minutes, like, 30 seconds. Like roaches. He's coming. Oh, sir. And they're not even defending the building. And I'm <laughs> sniping. Let's just chill away. <laughs> what are you guys doing? It. <laughs> Let him into our house. But if this is actually a time loop and we're just shooting at us from five minutes ago trying to storm it. <laughs> oh my god, I've just made a new game. Probably not. I hope that all these concepts I throw out, there's one developer that goes, indeed, what if, and then indeed, just makes that. I stole it. it. You're welcome. <laughs> they can have it. Like, I don't ever intend to make this game. I'll take a point zero zero one percent royalty. You know what? Just give me a t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> like, man, just give me a t-shirt of the game. Deathloop, but World War II, exactly. But we're the good guys and the baddies. You... My teammates are useless. There's your teammate going, what happened? <laughs> no, that was the guy that killed me. <laughs> uh, the other guy that ran in behind him. That was also the other guy that killed me. Tragic. Well, at least it doesn't make you start over. Look at that. Yeah. A minute 50. That's good. What? Who? Where? Why? Oh! A big old sleepover party happening in there. <laughs> this is the worst mission ever. Hey man, this is war. What'd you expect? A fun time? If I say yes, yeah, blast. With, yeah, you started this war. <laughs> when you press play. Wait, I was gonna say I'm not the Germans. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hiding in my corner. We're Nazi zombieing this. I'm camping. Yeah. I'm camping. Health. I found it. Like, you don't have to protect the building, right? You just not, don't have to die. Just go hide in the corner. Ow, 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 ow. Just, just bullet hose in here. All right, yeah. Everything's so gray except the white porcelain bathtub and toilet. Super vibrant. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> they don't make them like they used to. Is this on the highest difficulty? If we say yes, we promise not to bully. Yeah, this is definitely on the highest difficulty. Oh yeah, like, we actually <laughs> got a mod that makes it even harder. <laughs> it has nothing to do with the fact that my teammates don't do anything. Yep. And their AI. Shit. One in a, one in every five bullets does less damage. Who else? Whoa! How do you guys I keep getting in here? How many stairs are there are in this new building? Oh, jeez. <laughs> it's a clown house. <laughs> <laughs> it just keeps coming. <laughs> you can do it. Just a minute. Nine seconds. You're good. This is what inspired Nocturne on Totem. Probably, honestly. I can see it. More tank. Get. Why are you. You look like my guy. Stop it. You look like my guy. Yeah. I wish they would wear, like, I don't know, red neon or something. Tank, 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 tank. Nope. Again? <laughs> this is this has become a time loop game. This is Groundhog's oh, Day. Oh, my God. 
You're you're actually Bill Murray. <laughs> Hurry up. Destroy tank. Turn around. Kill those guys coming up. I see what speedrunners see in speedrunning now. <laughs> Sometimes it's the only way to beat the game is to become like stairs are now. a speedrunner. Can't. There you go. Nope, no stairs for you. Edge of Tomorrow, there you go. Wasn't that supposed to have a video game attached to it? What? Edge of Tomorrow. Uh, I think it did. I think it was a tie-in movie game that was really bad. All the health. All the health. Oh, look at that. You don't. Go away. You don't this <laughs> It's not worth it. This house isn't worth it, guys. It's, it's destroyed. It's not very nice. It's not going to get you any retail value. <laughs> the house is depreciating as we speak. Go away. Yeah, there's lots of bodies in here. Stuff has happened. Uh, a squatter. Can't get me now. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Jumping. Halo. <laughs> no, stop it. Stop. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. No, I don't want it. No! Where are you guys going from? I, I can't reload fast enough. You sound like they keep sneaking up behind you and tickling you. Because <laughs> they are. They keep tickling me with bullets. Oh. <laughs> That's how Superman feels. Private, do something. Get on that MG. My lord. Ow! Ow! Shit! Anti-tank gun. Which room are you in? Hmm. The goofy thing about this game too is they, uh, you shoot them and they fall down like they're dead and then they get back up. I mean, I'd, I'd do that too. If I were to get shot in war, I'm like, alright, fake it. Now get up. Go kill. Oh. Health, 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 please. Found some. Yes, we asked for the five euro. Would be great if your Soviet comrades actually guarded the bloody stairs. I know, um, right? They're not helping. Is this lore accurate? Is this, was this a very important like turning point in the war? Yeah, this is this is the big battle of six-story building. Yep, yeah, six-story high. I hear them lone running up man. on me. And I need to get rid of this tank. Ow, ow, ow. Turn around, you idiot. Or just Turn one around. dude. <laughs> yeah, don't you wish you had a stratagem right now, Nick? Yeah, God. This is worse than Helldivers right now. Like a hell bomb? Hey. They did something. No, you stay down. Four seconds, you can do it. Two, one, beep, beep, beep. <laughs> Everything blows up. And for what? Are these my reinforcements coming? Or is it more, more bad Germans? Oh, still more Germans. Okay, objectives update. There you go. Who are those guys? Those are my guys. What are you doing? You're letting them jump over the wall into my building! Every, wait, 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 every time you kill somebody, the, the objective updates. What? <laughs> What's happening? Clear the area of any remaining forces. Oh, okay. One yeah. guy left. That's your boy. That's your boy. Also the boy. Let me up those stairs. Brave guy. Brave fella. We got Andrew with the two pound, the Battle of Sterling Guard. That's good. You see what I'm doing to him? Yes. Okay, Giving good. him a taste of the franchise as it goes on. Yes. As long as you, as long as you saw. There you go. This is hubris. We were like, oh, we'll breeze through it and get to the expansion. <laughs> How many levels are left? <laughs> uh, I bet. I that, I felt, that felt like the penultimate mission. No, because you got to play as the British. No, that's in... That's, wait, is that that's, the expansion? That's in this, too? I already played it as the British. 
You played as the... I played as the Americans. Americans. And then the yeah. British. Oh, then the British. Oh, okay. This is the Soviets. Yeah, the Soviets uh, are Pavlov's the house is Mission 5. You're at the tank factory, I believe. I gotta go to Pavlov's house. That was Pavlov's house, yeah. Oh. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven more. How many? Seven more missions. Holy crap. I should... Oh, he put an <laughs> If that's the hardest level, like, you'll breathe. Yeah. Man. That should let you play as the Polish or the French. Uh, we should see what like Canada was doing at the time too. It should uh, give you a big red one. Look, Blake Canadians. You should get one mission, but it's like sixty different country perspectives. Like who wasn't in this war? I would love to just be a farmer, just like uh, there's a war going on somewhere. <laughs> Who thought? Like, I wanted to make that a game as well, <clears throat> where like nothing happens here. So this guy lives through a pandemic, a world war, uh, a drought, a famine, a flood, but nothing ever happens where he lives. So it's just, well, business as usual. Yeah, you guys, you guys take some bullets. I'm tired of taking them. Hey, you go for it. Yeah, Switzerland just plays a banker during the world war. <laughs> With the Spec Ops guys making a game like that, See, everybody's just taking my ideas from my big juicy brain. Mm. So everybody else has Grit's brain. Well, I guess I'll take all that health, thank you. Funny, I think the last World War uh, game I played was Amnesia. What'd you think? Bunker. Yeah. Mm. Yikes! I have a surprise. Oh. <laughs> so do you? <laughs> oh, he's so does he. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Is that okay? Long fuse. What the hell? <laughs> I'm so close to death. I'm going upstairs and getting help. Okay. It's like carry around this lollipop. Hmm. Give me. Oh, uh, you couldn't cook these nades? What the hell? Imagine. I would like this, thank you. Huh. The old STG. Look at her. The classic. I love those sights. Nice, clean. Whoa. What? He came back up. That's what I mean. They, like, you shoot them and they don't stay down. They just keep no. coming back up. Just, just, just do a push up and come back up. Revival. I think you can cook it if you right click it. No, they didn't. They did not cook them. All the grenades were raw back then. Undercooked. Love makes pointless John Wick double taps. They're not pointless. They keep getting back up. <laughs> yeah, they keep out. That's how you know Nick's a professional. Oh. <laughs> the overkill, dear God. Want me to go up, but where? A new stage. Tron movie comes out October 20, 2025. I'm excited. October 10, even. Oh. <laughs> I mean, you 
take over. So what's the story here? We're uh, what uh, are we doing? Secure exactly? the tank repair facility. All right. Should we like take down these big red curtains or nah? Sleep them there. No, we don't have time for that. Oh shoot. Good but tacky. There's some John Wick. The what? Who is actually out here making these flags, anyhow? The Nazis? Yeah, I know, but like the <laughs> factory and what and whatnot, you know. Uh, Any flag hands, in general. I mean, Hitler hand stitched all of them. Grandma Hitler was yep. just there, crocheting the crocheting them. Whoops! Hey, announce you're coming into my room. <laughs> There's a PC in here. You could go blind. Yeah. Careful. Is there another shooter that had objectives like Goldeneye? Ah, uh, what that like? They just kind of give you some objectives and you do them in any order. Uh, I'm not sure. Hugo Boss made the SS uniforms. Hugo Boss, was he not like a fashionista? I, knew it. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I like this STG. What a powerful desk. Hmm. Not too. You should have stayed behind it. Door. Mission over. New mission. Ow! 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 I'm dead. <laughs> oh. That's your fault. What I do? No, Private Kukrunov. He, I went to shoot the guy, and he ran in my way. Like KC yesterday when he got stuck in those boxes. It's a tragedy, really. You gotta teach him, though. Teach him good. I don't know if you saw that clip. You put it in the Discord, didn't you? Yeah, uh, the KC getting pushed into the boxes. Yeah, and he, yeah, he was asking, like, why'd you do that? Yeah, but he got <laughs> stuck in between. <laughs> it's for the best. You know? So then I, I shot his head off with the, <laughs> the uh, real gun. Yeah. Uh, Andrew saying, how come no bully this week? Uh, I had whoa, a on two yeah. So unrealistic. You gotta reload that machine gun at some point. There's like 300 in that chamber, but like it's huge. I'll be fine. Oh, if you can do it, you can do it. Oh, we're going to liberate all of Germany. Oh. He's still alive. He took that to the chest. Hey, yo, is Rex WrestleMania kicking off? Who's watching that? Who tank? Oh, yeah, you can't snipe that tank, but No. Oh, I thought he, like, ate your only shot. That would have sucked. <laughs> nice. Hi. What? There you go. Did, did, did my all my team, all these guys, let this one guy shoot them? If God's taught me anything, you don't have a team. You're a one man <laughs> army. Yeah, you are a one man army. That's what was nice, you know. Back in the day, if everyone sucked, you could just put your pants up and go. Fine, I'll do it. <laughs> Nowadays, it's like, damn it, where's my healer? Where's my tank? <laughs> yep. Yeah. Whole team trash. Oh, there are so many of you. We got here. Andy C with the 50 Mexican pesos. Hi, Nick. Frost, I'm new to these streams. What draws you to this game specifically instead of newer games in the series? No hate, genuinely curious. Uh, we're just going in order. So I guess the, the fact that it's chronologically the first one is what drew us here. Yeah, uh, I wanted some nostalgia. Yeah, so like we're starting at one, and then we're gonna go to at least around ghosts. We'll see how we feel about there. But uh, I'll let you guys know when we get to my favorite ones. Uh, ooh. 
I was saying we could have started a COD 4, but you know, some people like the the first one too. I love Call of Duty Team. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> if it's got like a booty mission that you don't like and you forgot, you like repressed it. Yes. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Hattie. Two is a classic. Yeah, we'll see about that. Big red one. <laughs> what is he out here? <laughs> Whoops. My guy took that rocket. <laughs> Dear God. Got this. What? Oh. Can you like steal a tank? That'd be exciting. I right? wish. Battlefield would let me do it. <laughs> no, not. Oh, yeah, this is back when like the two games were different enough to go Battlefield this, caught that, and then they blended. We don't know who's who anymore. There you go. Yeah. Get your montage kill going. Yes, sir. Peek em, peek em. I'm not okay. <laughs> yeah. Can't stand up to me and my sniper. Why is it called the Big Red One? I have no idea. Because it, it's based on the, the squad uh, Big Red One. Oh, there you go. Like, easy company. Yeah. Activision Battlefield <gasps> mom lets them drive tanks. <laughs> oh my god. How far out are you? Oh boy. again would you just die thank you give me that back I love the way the tank looks after you shoot it just like big sad nose so I mean so Looney Tunes Maybe old Cod actually wanted to use cover, and I'm just dumb. Oh, old Cod was a cover shooter? Oh, he... I mean, it does have leaning. <laughs> yeah, I but that, that's only that's I PC. It has leaning. <laughs> yeah, that's only PC. Is there a big difference between US and USA? I always write USA on packages to America because it sounds cooler. I don't think there is. U.S. is just for casual conversation, but U.S.A. is for like you're trying to emphasize something, for like a chant, a yell, something. U.S.A. It's like using somebody's full name, you know. That's when you know something. Wow! <laughs> oh my God! This, all of these Russian missions, man. <laughs> they really want you to feel. Russian they missions. want you to feel the desperation, I guess. Careful with your choice of words here. Are there any other United States? Yeah, it's a, it's a bit strange to assume that the USA is the only United States in America. What about Canada? Are they not united? What about Mexico? No, they're not. <laughs> no. What? Do you feel? Uh, do you feel like Stalin now? That asshole. That one guy. Every that time asshole. he's shooting you in the yep. asshole. I mean, like I keep thinking he's not gonna spawn, and then he's there. <laughs> he he's always there. Yeah. Hey, help! Okay, tank. Oh, hi, tank. Canada's a bunch of United Provinces. Fair. The 
UPC. It doesn't sound as good. Canada rolls off better. No, no. I don't I don't know what the range is on those grenades anymore. They seem to hit me from everywhere. I had a Mexican state say, oh we did it. Look at you go. Any history buffs? Any history specialists in the chat? Is this accurate? Was there actually just one guy like reloading over and over trying to clear out this barn? This is, uh, his name was Duke Nukem. <laughs> oh my god. Hitbox, come on. <laughs> Hitbox, come on. Netcode. Net code, my teammates suck. Some <laughs> things never change. This gun's trash. Oh my god. Nope. 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 You guys just keep coming out of nowhere. You keep. I don't. Nope. <laughs> I nope. can't get the cover in there. Jeez. It's, it's, this is turning like uh, my veteran playthroughs. You're going to start learning the wall bangs. Oof. I look at him, gets right back up after getting shot 50 times. There you go. There you go. Don't forget about the guy that likes to play peekaboo with your hub buckle. There he is. Yep. 360 down. <laughs> <laughs> That's a 180. Private Kronk. No! How do you keep getting up? This is a small caliber, dude. What you want? Headshots, there you go. Wolf Sharp says we're right at the end. I feel like they're lying. Maybe I'm they just dying on purpose so I don't finish this today. And then we start, you know, <laughs> offensive next week. That's really what's going on. Yeah, he's metagaming you guys, yeah. That's it. Like thousand IQ. Underflowed back legit to five cannot IQ. Imagine playing this on like the hardest difficulty. They would never miss. I, uh, I don't know how much better the AI goes, but I know hard difficulty. You just get no health. You backs. get less. You get less health. Yeah. I was going to be so mad if that guy got up after he just took a bullet in the head. <laughs> I just realized the color of your allies' names indicates their health. Yep. Yeah, but it doesn't really do anything because, like, it has no impact. I think they'll still get back up. No, they don't. They're dead. And if they don't, they have not really been helping much, so you won't notice they're gone. There you go. Yeah. Just camp them, Nick. It's like a real game. Hey. Scared. Somebody hiding in here. I'm I know scared. It. This is the new alien isolation. There's somebody hiding in here. Yeah, man, bravely checking no corners, walking out in the open. Nope, because they're gonna be in there. Yeah, play like it's Rainbow Six Siege. There you go. Lean them. Lean them. Whoa! Double tap them. Double tap. <laughs> I did it. I got out of there. Oh shit. Hey, game oh, shit. No oh, way. Shit. There's so no many. way. On your right. Oh. Ugh. What? You guys are sitting back there behind them My and don't do right. anything. <laughs> oh, gee, thanks. He shot the guy that was already on the ground. Good job. <laughs> Get me on this truck and let me go home. I'm surprised they haven't discharged you yet. All the teammates you keep shooting. Yes. <laughs> Showed them how helpful they actually were. 
Approaching the Odor River. Ooh, I get a tank. What? Random. You guys even drive the whole tank. Oh. It's not even on rails. What? No way. Yeah. Get my Crash way. Crash through something. Oh. Fake tank. Veteran Battlefield. I said it. Oh. Uh -huh. Bit of controversy. Uh, 20 years which... late. Oh, oh the, arrows, the arrows down there. tank operator there ever was. I'm the only one here. Did the trees break? Oh, nah. oh yes. man, bro. We're so bro, bad. This one. Indestructible. <laughs> that tree's too thick. What if there's a hole though, with it? I don't know. Uh, I gotta see. Wish. I gotta find out. Oh. Only one tree breaks. Damn. I hope it was a Bradford pear at least. Indestructible trees. I just built different in Germany. <laughs> wow, our tanks are indestructible too. This is gonna kill war. Was it War Thunder? Yeah, that's the game with the tanks. Do you think this tank mission has ever made somebody spill military secrets? Uh, from the 1940s, maybe. Yeah, they're like, yeah, no, this is not accurate at all. It's actually. Yeah, uh, yeah I have one of these in my backyard. Not accurate. Yeah. I ride on mine over the weekends. And, uh, me and my reenactment re troop go larping. I mean, yeah, the most famous op tank operator of World War II is Nick Calandra. Clearly, just took out uh, like ten tanks on my own. It was, own. It was Brad Pitt actually and Shia LaBeouf. Oh, what a good movie! What a sad ending to that movie. Yeah, you kind of saw it coming though. Oh yeah. Well, here it comes, especially if you like read the history <laughs> or the Wikipedia page beforehand. How much time did you spend on War Thunder? Like. None at all. I am, I'm not one of those people who gets off on heavy machinery. <laughs> I think that's dangerous. Uh, Some people yeah, look at both. Any like, type Whoa. of heavy machinery is probably not sanitary either. Yep. Or light machinery. Just don't <laughs> get off on machinery. Uh, but yeah, I, I never go like, whoa, look at that big old truck. Whoa, look at that big old boat. Look at that big old tank. It's just not me. I like being the, the dude in it, maybe. 1940 stuff are declassified by now? You're thinking, right? But what if there was something super strong that they still want to keep secret? Boss, will you play Smite too? Uh, probably touch it and then be done with it. <laughs> I'm not. If you try to. Do you play any bobos now? No, no. I was considering no predecessors coming. Yeah, yeah. I gave it a go. It still doesn't really. I don't know. Me, it doesn't feel really that good to play. See, I feel like people don't actually like mobas. I think they like League of Legends and Dota. So, you yeah, know, it's. I'm excited to try Gigantic again because I did like it when I played it when it was sure, out. Yeah. Because yeah. that one's more of like a straight up. FPS and like I understand the mechanics of that game where MOBAs have so much like I kind of hate the buy systems in MOBAs. Sure, yeah, the like shops. The store. Yeah, because mm -hmm. I'm like I don't yeah. like unless you like really know what you're min-maxing, I feel like I just get beat on everything. <laughs> I'm just uh I'm I'm tired of playing games that uh need you to rely on teamwork. Because either you have a full team with you all the time, or you're getting mad at randoms, and I do my best and I get mad at strangers. Because they're just having a good time, right? So, like, what do I care? No, they're not having a good time. They think they're actually playing good and get mad at you. Yeah, that's why they're having a good time. They wouldn't be there otherwise. 
Like that one dude that you could you'd be getting upset about because they keep feeding is probably someone's like little brother having a good old time. I'm like, why am I gonna be a dick to him? Has Nick uh, played Hots that doesn't have a store, just a talent tree? Yeah, that's like what, what Heroes of the Storm. storm. So, yeah. No. Uh, yeah, we will be trying out United Offensive DV Trooper. We yep, the, next week now. <laughs> I think this is like the last. This, I think this is the last mission. Uh, maybe. Like I used to be big on um, what was it? Overwatch as well as other mobas. Um, Paladins, hero shooters, all the other team, anything that has roles now, I don't really care for. I think that's why I like. Uh, battle royales because like being a body down okay that's fine but your healer being five years old and not knowing who to heal is like okay <laughs> uh, I don't want kids no. I like I like siege yeah siege, siege is in that midway where it's like they're not really yeah, yes you have roles but if I can kill at least two people I've done my part You can heal Hitler in hell. Yeah, I saw that one. Did you see the uh, new Helldivers War Bond? Uh, yeah, I I know it. I know it exists. I haven't looked at it yet. Yeah, it's got a crossbow now. It's got a crossbow. Man, yeah, it's got a crossbow and a pistol. Oh yeah, but well, the original Helldivers even had swords. Oh, that's neat. I feel like, it kind of, to me, it feels like the team behind Helldivers like was really prepared to go live service. Like they had a bunch of content ready to go to drip feed over the next little while where they're getting new stuff going. Yeah, or it's a different team uh, oh, making the war bonds. Like, I didn't realize there was actual destruction. Whoa! Oh wow, that's ahead of its time. Look at that. No, not that one. <laughs> oh no, it's just a very specific spot. Oh, this building. All right, never mind. It was an illusion. <laughs> See, if you if you only shot those two, it'd have been like, whoa. That's <laughs> yeah, the illusion would have. <laughs> yeah, you know, don't don't experiment. Who's fixing my tank? Are they? Yeah, they are. Looks like it. Not quite levolution. Yeah, no. Now the tank, the the health for my tank is a red bar. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Hey, bit hit. You can do it. Run. Am I the singular tank alive again? Are you? Like that? Are you? Is it just like, like it? Yuri. Yeah. There you go. That's you can do it. Did you do it? Oh. Well, <laughs> front him over didn't do Poor it. Guy. Oh, guy. There you go. Objective updated. Destroy the what now? That. Oh. There you go. Objective updated. We did it. Next level. Mission is not over. <laughs> Airborne now. Look at that. Is this the uh, the Fest the Festung Recogne? I think that's what it's called. I'm going back to the Allied missions. Yeah, there's a, you got Ooh. three to do. Best three going. Allied missions. We're doing the Battle of the Bulge. Oh. -ho. Well, in that case, it's, there's only ten minutes left, so let's save this for next week. There you go. Uh, all right. On that note. Thanks everybody for coming to hang out with us as we continue to replay the Call of Duty series. Uh, we will be back 
next Friday, wrap up the original Call of Duty with this last part of the campaign, and then move on to United Offensive. And then we'll do Call of Duty 2 after that. Uh, let's see. Uh, today, a uh, new unpacked video from me. You can uh, check that out now. It's already available. And then uh, Yahtzee released his latest book, which you can re watch a uh, little reading of that over on the live stream channel, on the live stream page. Live stream page. Jeez, I'm hungry. Uh, and then, uh, <laughs> tomorrow, a uh, new Adventures Night video, never before seen uh, Q&A from season three, but it's a Q&A kind of over the entire show. They were questions that uh, you guys sent in, and so we just never got to release it at the Escapist, so you finally get it here. And I think that's about it. Frost, anything else? There we go. Let's see here. Uh, go watch the old cold tick. There'll be uh, another one on Monday. And then on Sunday, we will be here with newly released as Amy's going through the new uh, Path of Exile League, I believe. And that should be it for me. Monday, Windbreakers. You know the rules. And uh, nope, nobody's angry at me in the video for Unpacked, Danger Hook and Bottom. They're just, uh, I, did the, I did the dummy thing and asked a question, and everybody just answers the question in the title. And even though the video is literally made to answer the question. So. <laughs> That's kind of fun to look at. All right. Well, thanks, everybody. Thanks for the super chats. Thanks for hanging out. And uh, we'll see you back here tomorrow or Sunday. Bye. Bye, all.